Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN. You'll just go right at the very top. You hit newsletters. You'll see Basil's newsletter on the left-hand side. You just hit opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95. You can get it for a year for $11.95. And six months, that's the savings of $199 at 22%. And if you get it for the year, it's the savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can go over there. You can check out whatever one you like. Bottom line, if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, 29 days later, you get your money back, folks. Basil has lots of archives over there that you can Go through the market, watch that wave, figure how this market moves every day, and we got plenty of waves in this market, man, that's for sure. Basil Chapman, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Talking about waves, uh, yeah. certainly there have been a lot of waves. Even even since I spoke to you last Tuesday, in fact, if you remember, I was talking about about the next day I was going to do my all-day webinar, and I was discussing the patterns that we would be looking at. And one of them was this lopsided cup formation. It's like a gravy cup. Okay. And it, was, it was basically a rectangle, in this case, from the Dow 33,272 level back in May and then it, or the 1st of June. And then it plummets down to 29,653. And from, from that very day of the low, we've been, we've been long in various positions in the diamonds. Uh, got about 11% gain in that. But most importantly, I looked at the pattern and said, this is the pattern, the, rec the large rectangle pattern can create a kind of a lopsided cup. It looks like a cup, but it's really a lopsided, so I call it a gravy cup because it comes down sharply and then starts its way up and it makes higher highs and higher lows. And I said there's a, there's a time sequence that said that within the next uh, a day or two, we should be um, testing the 33,272 level. Well, it tested that, and it's broken to the upside. So these are all the patterns that we discussed. And one of the things about this webinar, which is now archived, and it's, it's I especially did the webinar to be able to explain the patterns regardless of, the, of, of that is August, it could be December. It didn't matter the year or the time. It was the patterns themselves that repeat over and over. And what I had said to you was, the weekly chart is starting to improve for the very first time. And if the Dow weekly chart is able to climb uh, back towards the 34,000 level, that's going to be very important because it's going to help the MACD turn up in the weekly chart. The stochastic was under 80%. Now it's at 75%. And the, on, the uh, nine period moving average was still very weak. It's pink because it's underneath the 14 period moving average. That's this middle chart. And I said if it can cross positive, That'll be the first time in since it broke down back in beginning of January, February, in the weekly chart, it broke under the 14-period moving average. It's been pink ever since. And this is the first time you can see right there it's got an L. It means that this is the first week that has crossed positive to green. That's a, that's a big deal. It says that, yeah, we, I, I agree with you. I think that we're getting a little bit overbought right now. But most, most significant is that there's been this rotation through all these different sectors. And um, the, the Dow has been doing very, very well. And the QQQ, which we're also long, in fact, we're somewhat aggressively long, um, using the three times long, one of our positions has made a 50% gain already. But th the point was that I targeted the 200 period exponential moving average as something that if we can break above 344, which is the high that was made back in June, in the same cup that turns into what I call the gravy cup, lopsided cup formation, there could be another significant, and a, 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 some of the techniques that I, I showed, one was the left side, right side price time match, where you can take a vertical line and treat it as a plumb line. So the number of, I call it bar synchronicity, bars on the left, equal the number of bars on the right. Well, we did that at a peak D, but then it continued higher. And here's yet another doji candle today with a new recovery high of 334.42. But if you look, the, 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 it's, it's above the 200 period moving average. That was our target. Now it's going to kind of hang around there for a little bit before it can break significantly higher, I think. But it's got the 9 over the 14 in the daily chart. 
The MACD is strong. Stochastic is very strong at 94%. So it's going to be really bad news that takes us down, other than just a minor pullback, to really take it down significantly. And for the first time, the index 100, the QQQ Invesco Trust Series, is above. This is the third week that it's above the, the inside track uh, repellent zone that should become a propellant zone if the 314 level to 312 uh, support holes over the next two weeks. So these are the patterns that I discussed. And as I say, the webinar is not a date specific one because what I wanted to show is these particular techniques. In fact, I'm going to do this now. I don't usually do it, but we had a stock. I said this, I think there's going to be a rotation from the real winners over the last many weeks. To, to some of the very big laggards, the stocks that have just got pummeled 80, 90 percent. And we might start to see the stocks that are in the zone that would be part of what a recovery would uh, need. And one of those is uh, WE, which is a symbol for uh, WeWork. That's flexible workspaces, offices, suites with private amenities, etc. So we had the pattern. And I said, we're going to start a position on Friday. Uh, so we start. I wanted. To, I didn't know because it had a big spike up on news to the 594 level, whether or not just to get into a trade and then say, okay, we have to make a wide stop or to split the trade. And I thought, prudence says split the trade. So we got into the trade on the 12th at 565. But then the next one, I said, let's buy it at 535, 5.35 cents if it pulls back to that. But I'm only going to give it another day or two. So today was running out of time. But what did it do? Went down to 535. Now it's trading at 575. Nice. And the pattern was that if this rectangle, this, you see this chapter with inside track, the little green yes. and red line yes. in the um, daily chart. If it's able to break above that, it should tackle the left side high of 594 and then quickly go to the sixes in leg C. That's the pattern that we're looking at, if successful, from the takeoff level that we actually saw this morning. And I, for subscribers this morning, I drew in the uh, the pattern with a 120-minute chart. Um, and I, I think that so far it's acting very well. But that's, I think, where we are, that we're looking at the chance that the really, the, the stocks that were just horrible are now going to because some fund a lot of fund managers I think must have missed this big move and maybe are just getting in now, but now they're looking at what what could we do? So I suspect that I mean flexible workspaces I think on a fundamental level I think there's some room for that, but on a technical level this weekly chart has produced an H pattern that could turn into beautiful cup formation if at any point in the next two weeks it trades six uh, six eighty five. 720 somewhere around there says you know what maybe we we work for the very first time since it was at 14.97 in october of 2021 down to four dollars and 51 cents could actually participate in a decent rally and folks it's very easy to get bowser's newsletter come over to our website at tfnn you can see around the newsletters opening calls on the left hand side hit that button you are off to the races bowser you have a great one safe one we look forward to show tomorrow morning thank you very much tom you too thank you